Hello guys, welcome back to Vehicle TV. Ever wondered how Tesla, the top emerging electric vehicle makers build their cars? Come and let's find out. Tesla's factory in Fremont, California is one of the world's most advanced automotive plants with 5.3 million square feet of manufacturing and office space on 370 acres of land. Today, more than 10,000 employees work at the Fremont factory. Tesla purchased the facility in 2010 and extensively remodeled it before the first Model S rolled off the line in June 2012. As Tesla continues to deliver more and more vehicles to customers around the world, they promise to always aim for the highest possible level of vehicle craftsmanship with every Model S, Model X and Model 3 built in Fremont, where the vast majority of the vehicle's components are made. Tesla founder and CEO Elon Musk launched the company with the mission to accelerate the advent of sustainable transport by bringing compelling mass-market electric cars to market as soon as possible. This mission is the backbone of Tesla's successful business model. Let's take a look at how Tesla builds cars, but diving in first into how the Tesla Model S is made. The manufacturing process uses more than 160 specialist robots, including 10 of the largest robots in the world which are named after X-Men characters. Many of the Model S's unique components, including the battery pack, battery module and drive units, are manufactured in-house. The plant has a high level of integration compared with other modern car assembly plants, with most processes taking place within the Tesla factory. This includes most of the stamping and machining, painting and some coding. The hydraulic press lines used to stamp 5,000 body panels per day with a force of 10,000 tons. They are the largest in North America and the sixth largest in the world. Around 60% of the car parts are sourced from North America, while Japan is the second biggest source of components as of March 2015. Design engineers also work at the factory itself rather than a separate facility. Individual vehicles take between 3 and 5 days to complete the assembly process. The assembly line moves at a speed of 5 cm per second. Tesla prefers delivery by train rather than by truck as costs and damages are less. A complete Tesla Model S alternating current electric motor that has had a section removed from the stator to show the rotor inside. The alternating current induction motor is constructed in-house. The main components of the motor are the stator and rotor. The motor construction begins when a robot unspools and winds over half mile of copper wire per motor. It then pulls the copper wire into a stack. The motor has three phases and so requires three coils of copper. A worker then lengthens and straightens each bundle of wire and inserts a hydraulic lift to transfer the motor to the next station. A worker insulates each bundle of copper wire in a plastic sleeve to prevent the bundles from touching one another. The ends of the bundles are then snipped to the correct length. Lugs are added and crimped to form attachment points for the motor's three phases. A specialized automatic sewing machine then binds the coils together to keep them in place. The increased tightness of the binding provided by a robotic sewing machine increases the efficiency of the motor. The stator is then encased in a two-part epoxy resin to help in evenly distributing the motor's heat. The stator is now complete and is inserted into a heated metal case, locking the stator inside as the case cools. A worker uses a hoisting system to insert the rotor inside the stator, completing the construction of the motor. Additional Drive Unit Components A worker then installs the differential and other sections of the gearbox, attaching it together using bolts. An air leak test is then conducted. The three-phase tripole power inverter is then installed onto the top of the motor to convert direct current from the battery into alternating current for the motor to use. The motor then undergoes a series of automated tests taking four minutes to ensure correct function and then is moved to the general assembly area to be installed into the car. The power inverter is constructed from metal oxide semiconductor power transistors. Early Tesla vehicles used MOS-controlled insulated gate bipolar transistors, which have been replaced by silicon carbide power MOSFETs in later Tesla vehicles since 2018. Battery Pack Construction The Model S 85kWh battery pack uses 7104 18650 lithium-ion battery cells. A smaller AA battery is on the left for scale. The Model S 85S battery pack contains 7104 18650 lithium-ion battery cells in 16 modules wired in series, 14 in the flat section and 2 stacked on the front. Each module contains 6 groups of 74 cells wired in parallel. The 6 groups are then wired in series within the module. As of June 2012, the battery pack uses modified Panasonic NCR 18650A3100MA H cells with nickel cobalt aluminium cathodes. The use of commodity cells, similar to those found on laptops and mobile phones, is in contrast to every other electric vehicle manufacturer who use specialized large format Li ion cells. The liquid cooled battery pack uses an intumescent gel to aid in fireproofing and even heat distribution. 
body construction. Aluminium coil blanking. 98% of the Tesla Model S body is constructed from aluminium and is produced from between 50 and 60 separate coils of aluminium each for various components. The coils are unwound, flattened and cut out in a blanking machine. Additional cutting is also done using a laser cutter. The total weight of the aluminium used in the Model S is around 410 pounds, that's 190 kilograms. Stacked side panels that have been formed on the tandem press line. A robot then transforms the aluminium blanks into the tandem press lines where the sheets are stamped into the various panels of the cars. The Schule SMG hydraulic stamping press line is the largest in North America and the sixth largest in the world. The presses use up to 11,000 ton force to form the body panels. The upper section applies 1,400 tons of downward force and the lower section 130 tons. The blank aluminium sheet is stretched over the lower draw die and openings are cut with robots transferring the panels between processes. The workers then inspect each panel to ensure correct pressing. The parts are then stacked in frames and stored. The machines press one part every 6 seconds and create 5000 parts per day. Drive Unit Installation The car is raised and the drive unit is installed into the rear axle assembly. The drive unit provides power directly to the wheels without a drive shaft. Battery Pack Installation The battery pack weighs almost 1,200 pounds and is delivered to the installation area and is raised into the car using a lift. Placing the battery pack under the cabin floor adds strength and rigidity to the car and lowers the vehicle's center of gravity to 18 inches, that's 46 centimeters. A titanium plate is installed over the battery pack which protects it in the event of a high-speed collision and to protect it from road debris. Let's take a look at Tesla's first product. Tesla took a unique approach to establish itself in the market. Instead of trying to build a relatively affordable car that it could mass produce and market, it took the opposite approach, focusing instead on creating a compelling car that would create a demand for electric vehicles. Tesla delivered to the market the first high-performance electric luxury sports car, the Tesla Roadster. The company sold approximately 2,500 Roadsters before ending production in January 2012, not a number that would fray any nerves at General Motors. The next stage. Once Tesla established its brand and had produced and delivered its concept car to the marketplace, it reinforced its business model. Tesla's business model is based on a three-pronged approach to selling, servicing and charging its electric vehicles. Direct Sales Unlike other car manufacturers who sell through franchise dealerships, Tesla sells directly to consumers. It has created an international network of company-owned showrooms and galleries mostly in urban centers. By owning the sales channel, Tesla believes it can gain an advantage in the speed of its product development. More importantly, it creates a better customer buying experience. Unlike car dealerships, Tesla showrooms have no potential conflicts of interest. Customers deal only with Tesla-employed sales and service staff. Including the showrooms, Service Plus Centers, a combination of retail and service center and service facilities, Tesla has 429 locations around the world as of the end of 2019. Tesla has also made use of internet sales, allowing customers to customize and purchase a Tesla online. Home Services In some areas, Tesla employs what it calls Tesla Rangers, mobile technicians who make house calls. In some cases, the service is delivered remotely. The Model S can wirelessly upload data so technicians can view and fix some problems without ever physically touching the car. The Supercharger Network Tesla has created its own network of supercharger stations where drivers can charge their Tesla vehicles in about 30 minutes for free. The purpose, of course, is to speed up the rate of adoption of electric cars by making it cheaper and easier to keep them running. Tesla's latest model is a supercharged version of the original Roadster which the company claims is the quickest car in the world. Capable of going 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds, deliveries of the new Roadster are expected in 2023 with a base price of $200,000. Interested individuals can reserve a new Roadster for a $5,000 initial card payment and a $45,000 wire transfer which is due within 10 days after making the initial payment. What are your views on Tesla? What does their future hold? Tell us in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe on this channel. Goodbye.